Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I'm Miss Lisa, and this is my YouTube channel where I talk about everything I want to, science and math. And today, this video is on request. I had a student come by wanting to know, how, how did, can you get an answer in the radical form from the TI-8384 calculator? So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, okay, we're on here. So now I'm gonna do, put in square root of two, and you can see that the square root is painted here behind the x squared. So I'm gonna do square root of two. Now I'm gonna arrow over and do square root of three. And, oops, I wanted to, let's, let, let's change that a second. Sorry about that, I wanna want put the times in there. So I wanna do square root of two times square root of three. Okay, there it is. Okay, and it's gonna give me, when I hit enter, a decimal. So, whoop, you can see that there. Well, in high school especially, okay, so I got two boys in college, and they say in college they want the decimal. But in high school, they want it in radical form. They don't want the decimal. They want the square root symbol and the answer. So how do you get it? Well, and with some of the calculators, they'll give it to you that way. But the TI-8384s uh, won't. But there's a program you can get, and I'm going to show you. If you have me as a teacher, you can come by my room, and I've got cables, and I'll give you the program for your calculator. But if you don't have me as a teacher, I'm going to show you the program, and you can type it in at the end of this video. Okay, so what we want is we want this, we do the math, we get it in decimal form, and we want that now in radical form, because that's what our Algebra 2 teacher wants. Okay, so you, so for once you get the program, you'll go to program, and what I've named this program is uh, rad form. See, that sounds more cool than it is, rad form. Okay, so and I'm gonna hit enter to run the program, and I'm gonna hit enter again to get it going, and it wants the decimal. See, DEC is asking for decimal. Now, I can type that in, but I'm lazy, and also the decimal goes on beyond what you can see because this is a, a, a irrational number, one that does not, cannot be written as a fraction, and it, just like pi, the decimal's going forever, so I, I'm, so, I'll get a better answer if I don't type it in. I can if I want to, or if I forget how to do this, but that's what you do. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna hit second, and then go down here to the minus, and do you see how it has answer painted on there? So that made it call up the answer. I hit enter, and dun dun dun, there's the answer, the square root of six. So doesn't that make you happy? Okay, and like even if, um, the answer has a number, then the radical sign, then what's left under the radical, it will give it to you. So it, now it only works with square roots. It doesn't do cube roots or anything fancy like that. Now, what about for all of you out there in YouTube land that don't have the program? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the program. So I go to program, I go over to edit, and this, is, and then I'm going to go to the program, rad form. My son named it rad form. And this is the program. So you can pause this video and type it in exactly how I did, and then you'll have the program too. Okay, so just, you know, pause the video, type it in exactly. If you don't know how to type something in, um, you can look that up on the internet. It tells you like where you get, like, like say the word input. You can find that word to type it in. One place you can find it is under the catalog, but there are other places there's shortcut menus and stuff like that. But you don't type I-M-P-U-T. You don't use the alpha keys. You, when it has a capital letter and then the rest of it, then you um, find that command word. So even if you have me for a student, it might be fun to write a program and say, I wrote this myself. You can name it whatever you want to. You don't have to name it rad form. So uh, it's kind of fun to learn how to, to write in a program because on the internet, there's lots and lots of programs for um, these calculators that once you know how to do it, you can just type it in. So let me quit out of that for a second and let me just show you where to do that. So, well, I'm going too fast. I just realized, hold on. Let me quit that. Okay, let me show you slower what I'm doing. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna show you where to write in the program. You go to program. So we're gonna hit that first. And then do you see there it says new. 
So you go over here to new and hit enter, and then you just type in exactly what I showed you, and you'll have the program too. Yay! All right, math is great. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you soon.